coolest aspects of working with Photoshop is the amazing array of filters and effects that you have at your fingertips. And by far the best place to dive in and get your hands dirty is the filter gallery. Now the filter gallery is located up in the main navigational menu underneath filter, filter gallery. Now currently you'll notice that it's not highlighted and this is primarily because my actual image layer here is a smart object. So the first thing I need to do is actually go to layer and I'm going to go flatten image. Now second thing I need to do is because my image is also in 16 bits per channel, I need to actually go up and change that to 8 bits. So I'm going to go to image, mode and then go to 8 bits per channel. Now the filter gallery should be uh, highlighted just here underneath filter in the main navigational menu. So if I click on that, you'll notice that it'll automatically bring up the filter gallery window and my image is currently displayed at 100%. So I'm going to quickly just change that and we'll drop that down to fit to view. Now the first thing you'll notice when you're actually in the filter gallery is that you have a series of folders and in each of the folders you have a filter or effect. So as you actually click on each of the folders, you'll notice that there are an array of different uh, options for you to choose from. Now also beside each of the actual um, categories or folders on the right hand side, you'll notice you have a blank area. Now it's actually once you actually choose an effect or filter and actually click on it, what you'll notice is that you'll actually have options for that particular effect with uh, specific sliders. So you can actually go in and customize each one of the effects to your liking essentially. Now you'll also find a little drop down menu here that has all of the default effects as well. You can also add to this, um, this menu I believe too. So from here, the thing to note is once you actually choose and actually find an effect that you're really quite happy with that sort of um, you know, meets your artistic and creative side, uh, what you can actually do is add to it. So not only can you add one effect and customize it using these particular options, what you can do is add a second effect, a third effect and a fourth. So for example, currently I'm using the sponge effect here and it's currently turned on, you see the little eye. If I go down the bottom here, I can actually add a new layer as it were. And what I can do is actually change from it being a, a sponge effect to say a crosshatch effect. So now I've added two different effects, one on top of the other. And you can continue to do this as you actually work through um, creating, you know, a, a very sort of artistic image as it were. So I can add another one and I can choose perhaps Chrome for this one. So you can really end up with some interesting results. And it's, it's really sort of more about um, sitting down and just playing with all the different effects and finding the ones that, you know, sort of grab your attention and, and, and you sort of feel as though you can actually do something with them and, and create something quite unique from them. And you'll notice here as you actually work through adding these multiple effects, one on top of the other in these particular um, layers, as it were, you can actually start to turn them off and say, no, I'm not quite happy with that one. So I might remove that one and I might actually delete that just by clicking on the little trash can down the bottom here. So overall, there are quite a few really neat uh, effects here that are actually quite fun to play around with, especially when you're creating birthday cards or presents and things like that. Or just in general, if you really want something different from your, your normal sort of photography, these effects will do the job for you. So that's the filter gallery. Make sure you check it out.